With me, I have Frogio, the captain of Team Ribbit. Frogio, how do you play so effectively after only having been a team for four weeks? Uh, to be honest, I think it's because we're good friends. Uh, I already knew Paja and Swift for about a year or two, and I met Joshi in pubs and Coach Satori. Um, we just play well together because we have a good play style. We have the same kind of flow. And who doesn't like playing with their friends? I mean, it never gets uh, heated in, uh, in our comms, and we're all so positive. And I think that's important. And how are you feeling about the finals? Um... I love playing good teams. Those are like the best matches to play and watch. Um, we're confident in what we can do, but we're also aware of how hard the competition is. Um, it's going to be a great experience, and I think we're ready for it. Now, moving on to Team Everest, I have Martin the Third here with me as the captain of Everest. Now, Martin. What do you think separates you from the other teams in VRML? Uh, I definitely think our, our view of rollouts and the way we sort of look at where we're at at the beginning of the season and uh, designing our rollouts after where everyone is and then sort of in, uh, working on them throughout the season and sort of iterating and uh, perfecting them. And hopefully now we're at a, at a place where everyone knows their part and we can sort of use them as well as possible and yeah. And how do you think the finals is going to go for you? Um, I'm optimistic. Um, so far, we've been overperforming in cups uh, versus um, single games. I think we all like cups more since like back to back games and it's not like getting warm up for one game. Um, so hopefully if, if the first game goes well um, and the first game is a lower seated sort of lower tier, um, bottom seed. So if that goes well, then yeah, we should be warmed up and ready to take on the other teams as well in both the upper and lower bracket. Now, moving on to Team Quackheads. I'm here with Gobshite, the captain of Quackheads. Now, Gobshite, you've stayed a team since season one, and one of the permanent members who is often not noticed is Duckman. Please tell us more about Duckman. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Uh, me and Middleman started the team as Duck's Quack back in the ESL days when it was like 3v3. And Duckman was our fourth team member, you know, way before anyone else had four, four guys on their team. He's our mascot. Um, he's been with us from the launch of Echo Combat, where he had a little fight with everybody. He's... Um, you know, seen teams like Jax come and go, Gravity hold up the top. He, uh, you know, joined in the debate whether 4v4 would work with the amount of play space with, you know, players uh, in the NA and EU pool. Um, yeah, he's taken part in campaigns. You name it, he's done it through thick and thin. Duckman's been by our side. And uh, I think I think Duckman, Duckman is uh, an essential part of, of Echo Arena. Uh, just no one knows it yet. And how are you feeling going into the finals? I feel lucky. I'm feeling lucky going into the finals. Um, I think we've had a, you know, a mixture of luck this season. Um, we've managed to skip a couple of Challenger Cups where teams have disbanded. That was lucky. We've lost like a ton of games in round three by like two or three points in the last few seconds. That was unlucky. So yeah, I'm feeling lucky going into the finals. I reckon it's about time a few of them bounces went our way. Moving on to Team Hyperion. With me, I have the captain of Hyperion, Cinnamon. Now, Cinnamon, your team stacks are a key part in your playstyle. Why do you use them as much as you do? Oh, Team Hyperion's really in the game for speed and excitement. And we really find that stacks are the most exciting way to play. You can reach like 78 meters a second with a good stack. And then they're super versatile and can cover multiple players at once. And how do you think you will perform in the finals? Uh, we think the first day will go alright because we've got the whole roster there. But then second day we've not got Howler. So we're kind of in it for fun just to kind of at least win one game, let's say. <laughs> Now, moving on to Team Blank, and with me I have Paddish, the captain of 
Team Blank. Now, Paddish, you jumped into this season with a strong start. In the first cycle, you had such a damaging impact on the ladder division. How did this aid you in your entrance into the master division? But yeah, lucky. The, the first cycle for us was very special. Um, we didn't exist last season, really, and having a strong start for us with only one loss, I think, um, was really nice for us. We Lucky though we got that loss because entering the Masters division without it would have been quite a bit of pressure. And how do you think the finals will go for you? Honestly speaking, we just want to have fun. We know there's a lot of competition going on, but obviously we will aim high, maybe fourth, but we see anything can happen. Now, moving on to Team Hellbent, and with me, I have Okulalan, the captain of Team Hellbent for two seasons now. Okulalan, how has the team developed over time? We started in Season 2 and didn't really change much, but then halfway through Season 3, we had to make a lot of changes. We lost one of our original players, Baguette, and recruited Watchdog and then Bad Internet to make the five-man roster we have today. But overall, I definitely think we've improved a lot over Season 3. And how do you feel going into these finals? These will be your first finals that you'll ever play. Yeah, it's definitely exciting and we're definitely going in with a measured sense of confidence. Uh, but we've all worked super hard this season, so we're definitely hoping to bring our A-game and go really far. Now, moving on to Team Clockwork, I am joined by Taco, the captain of Team Clockwork. Now, this was your first time in the Master Division as a new team. How was this cycle for you? Yeah, I think it was very sway in the beginning. Uh, we, we had a lot of round threes going out, and I think it's because we're a new team and we had some issues that I had to get sorted by just being a new team. So, But we've, we've sorted mostly everything now, so I think we'll be stronger than ever. And how do you think the finals will go for you? Uh, the finals are going to be really interesting for the fact that Oki has damaged uh, his knee, so we're unsure if he's actually going to play, which would be very sad. But otherwise than that, I think we've been taking rounds of very good teams and it's going probably going to go really well. Moving on to Team Intoxicated with me, I have Sundance, the captain of Team Intoxicated. Now, Sundance, your final match of the season was against Gravity, and it was as close as it gets, with round three being 11 to 12 to Gravity. How will this affect your confidence for the finals? Oh, positively, I would say. I mean, now that we've established that gravity, do you have, you know, some vulnerabilities, uh, you know, so close to the, you know, the end of the season, it's, um, it's definitely a good thing. And how do you think the finals is going to go for you? Oh, it's, it's absolutely going to be a tough one. Uh, doable, doable for sure. Envy and our team are, you know, neck and neck at the moment and... They're, they're also going to be an obstacle that we have to overcome, not just gravity. But when the team catches wind, they start absolutely flying. The players on the team have made some huge gains this season. Uh, when we started, we was absolutely all over the place. But hopefully now coming towards the end, we just about have what it takes. Now, moving on to Team Envy. And with me, I have Denials. Denials, how do you improve and fix mistakes? Um, I really obsess over decision points um, and I don't focus on an actual mistake when it like not the mistake itself, but the 30 seconds leading up to it. And uh, in reality, that's just me telling, telling you why you're bad all the time in game. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time in replayer, a shout out to NTS friends and Zenith. They, they've done some amazing work. Um, and that helps me show what I see to my team. And that's what we do a lot. So I make videos and, and we go off the replayer and then I, I can show people how we got there and, and what we need to be better. And how do you think the finals will go for you? Uh, to be honest, I don't really expect that much. Uh, I'm really thankful to BK National Influence Study who joined later for giving me the chance to be competitive again. Um, I was away for a long time, so to be able to get a new team and do this well over the entire season was amazing. But we have set so many issues for the last five weeks. I've just been putting on fires. Um, so the final roster, we haven't had time to prepare much. But we'll give it our best, and it is what it is. 
Gravity. We have Team Gravity. Viatrex, the captain of Team Gravity, is with me. Now, Viatrex, how do you expect the finals to go for you? Uh, pretty good, honestly. The scrims are going as expected. We know what the teams will do and how we will deal with them. The season went good so far. We stayed undefeated. Even though Soccercade got very, very close. But in the end, they didn't. And on finals, we will assure we're going to be a different gravity. And whoever we will face in the end, it's not going to be that close again. And you've won every season so far. What would you do if you don't win this season? <laughs> Everybody wants to know this. I guess we will never know.